Hey traders, what's going on? Jamie Setley here. It is March 28th, 2017. We are nearing the end of the uh, first quarter. Actually, the last day of the quarter will be on Friday. Always interesting <clears throat> when you get the uh, move on a Friday, you get the end of quarter, end of week, end of month flows um, on Friday. So, you know, Fridays can sometimes be a little chaotic and uh, they can be good trading days actually on uh, for really short-term uh, moves so that will be uh, something to look forward to uh, right now in this video I actually want to just go over a few of the recent charts that we've looked at the last few updates we've looked at um, was it last Tuesday right we had that was the big sell-off the S&P was down 1% everyone freaked out um, if you would have looked at my Twitter, you would have thought that we were in the Great Depression after the sell-off that we had for one day. Uh, and sure enough, we actually have bottomed or rallied off of um, the literally the exact level that we talked about in that video. We were looking at the 23, 20, 23, 22 uh, region. The low is 23, 21. This again is SPX 500. Um, the future's uh, going to look a little different as far as the the prices are concerned, right? Um, it's a new contract, but uh, this will be, you know, more or less look like look like the cash index, okay? But it, we have a trend line that was really kind of all we cared about. Um, you know, news flow uh, be damned. Right. This was the I guess the sell off was blamed on um, on the healthcare debacle or what have you. Uh, and then, you know, it was the vote was called off on Friday. You got a rip and then you opened up down huge in Asia on Sunday. Market kind of screwed around for a day like it does on Mondays a lot of times anyway. And then today it was just kind of straight up. So I'm not sure what the media is going to pin this one on. Um, as far as the reason for the rally, uh, but I do know that we did, you know, the chart is pretty clear in that this was the level for support, right? So we have turned up, um, you know, from here, look, huge rally, pullback, it's actually in three waves. Uh, my thinking is that you could actually, or is that the S&P might actually spend some time in a range. We have, you know, we have had a, a big move up. Um, and if you, this is a 240 minute chart, right? And if we just look, let's just look back, say, since, let's say since the election, right? Since the election, which was right here, right? That was the initial, the knee jerk on the, you know, the downside, the, you had, um, Limit down, 100 points down on uh, at that point on on the S&P futures overnight, and then of course, you know, next day everything had reversed and it's kind of been up, up and away since then. Uh, this is really the first, you know, test of any sort of strength, believe it or not. I mean, you've had minor, very shallow consolidations, uh, but in this case, we you know, 2400, 2322. I mean, it's not even a not even a hundred handle pullback. Um, I mean, very normal here. All right. So when we look at the rally from the election, you know, is there anything clean from a wave perspective, right? The whole, you know, the Elliott wave deal. Um, to me, not really. I guess very loosely, which is kind of how I like to look at it. You could argue that you've got, you know, up one, sideways two, you know, maybe up three, sideways four. It's Definitely not, you know, how the uh, hardcore Elliotticians would look at it. I get that because, you, you know, they want to count all the wiggles in here. Um, you know, the you know, one, two, you know, three, four, maybe this is five. Okay, consolidation, one, two, three. You get the idea. Bottom line is, to me, what's interesting is that, or what's useful is that you've got a, uh, pretty clean three wave drop all right that's kind of all I'm all I'm caring about is that the, the move from here is clearly a three okay it's a B 
C and that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and C. Okay, now we are, you know, if you look back at, say, a daily chart even, or a weekly chart, I mean, this is a daily chart, but it's going way back to the 2009 low. Look, there's no doubt this is really mature, the rally, okay? Um, I mean, we're pressing into channel lines, massive channels, okay, that, you know, go back to the 2009 low. And, you know, you can press up and ride channels for quite a long time before you have the risk of, you know, an outright, like an actual reversal, like a real reversal, not, you know, this little couple percent pullback. Um, and a lot of times the first couple dips, you know, within a move into the final high or into a bigger high, right, everyone starts screaming um, fire. And, uh, and then once you get to, once you actually get to the top, everyone's really given up. So that's kind of the psychology I'll be looking for in the coming months, probably. But near term, understanding that you do have, um, you know, this massive, massive resistance overhead, right? A lot of times before you go into a final high, you might get a period of range, um, not just a dip and then a new high, but it's my experience that you'll go into maybe maybe even a triangle pattern, right? So I'm not predicting that you're going to have a triangle pattern, but I'm saying it's something to be aware of, right? So it might not just be as simple as if you're bullish, uh, you know, the support down here, great if you bought it, but as you start to get towards the range highs, you know, be aware of a little, you know, shenanigans, if you will. Uh, if this is actually, you know, part of a triangle, you'd we'd actually be going sideways for quite a while before you thrust higher into into a top. So, with that said, uh, levels to be aware of on a trading basis in the near term. Watch this channel line here. Okay, you can make it red if you if you'd like. Uh, you can see resistance kind of break out. Uh, it was support and then you had the flush out. Um, and so I'd be watching that. It's up near, you know, if we were to get there overnight, it's 23.75. If we take a couple days to get up there, you know, maybe we back and fill on Friday, it's at 23.80. Um, yeah, that's, you know, a pretty clean level. In fact, if you intersect it with this trend line here and 2380 has just been a pretty good level generally right 2380 2380 so that is something to pay attention to with the s p another market that we've looked at a good deal over the last few days uh or over the last few i think the last video actually thursday video i did look at crude because it was really it was in a, a big spot and it still is it seemingly has been at a big spot um, as a lot of currencies have since FOMC, right? Everything's been stationary sideways since FOMC. So um, we're still on this trend line. We're still sporting decent wicks down here at support. You know, a lot of people say that maybe crude oil is the key to the so-called reflation trade. So as long as you're finding support down here uh, and you got these wicks above the support, to me, it's kind of, you know, it's promising. Um you know, or at least, you know, possible to continue to look higher in crude. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm bullish crude down here, right? And I am bullish as long as you hold the trend line. So that uh, is uh, a biggie as far as, you know, potentially seeing some reflation in the reflation trade. Okay. Um, we have that and hint hint look at crude or if, with crude you might want to look at dollar cat or some cad crosses all right so i'm going to leave it there um you know interesting move in risk obviously with the s p and the so-called risk market you do have uh other stuff that you might want to look at with uh maybe yen crosses for example we got here yen crosses yen crosses yen crosses yen crosses like here's the chart today from dollar yen and the daily technicals and you can see that we've started to turn up and you know it's been a downtrend all year um lower highs lower lows but if you are going to get a bump you know higher than this is where it should happen okay 
Uh, so yeah, interesting to you know see this with the S&P turning up. Dollar yen obviously if it's, it has got some catch up to do. Um, if indeed it's going to you know go into more of a Trump trade thing, but good reward to risk down here in my opinion as far as dollar yen is concerned. Okay, all right, so I'll leave it there. Uh, again, Jamie Setley, her signing off. Good luck and take care. All right, bye.